Hey fellow SEOs, this is Steve Wiedemann, SEO expert, doing a quick walkthrough of how to use WordPress and still be able to modify your robots.txt file. Occasionally your webmaster or web marketing department will not let you touch files on the root of your web server, such as the robots.txt file, which tells search engines where to go and where not to go online. So I'm going to demo a quick little plugin that can resolve that problem. You may still have issues with it, but uh, hopefully it'll install and you won't have any issues at all. So what you're going to do is do a search in WordPress. Go to Add New under Plugins and do a search for WP space Robots space TXT. And you'll find this plugin by Christopher Davis. Go ahead and click Install Now. Yes, install this plugin. If when you get to this screen you see uh, an error message or a message that says you need FTP access, it's probably because you're on a web server that isn't configured with SUPHP, SUPHP, um, or it's just some quirky web hosting provider that your seemingly intelligent webmaster thinks that you should be on, and he is wrong. So <laughs> if you don't see this, uh, show him this video and tell him to please get on the right platform for WordPress to make installing and uh, activating plugins a seamless process for you. Going through the list here. So we've gone ahead and activated the plugin. If you're using any kind of a caching program, you may get this message uh, to empty the page cache. Do so if you see that message. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is go into settings. And from here, you should be able to modify you should be able to see privacy. Click on privacy and now you'll notice that there is a robots txt content. So what goes here? What's important to have and not to have? Well historically if you watch some of my old videos back in the day from 2008 and, and uh, before that we would block all of our JavaScript and style sheets and guide the search engines to our content and away from our code. Well, Google's gotten really smart over the years, and recently Matt Cutts of Google did a video explaining how they don't want you to do that anymore. In fact, if you go to top10seotips.com, that's the number 10, T-O-P, the number 10, seotips.com, you'll see a page uh, that, that talks specifically, or a section that talks specifically about uh, that robots.txt and has a video of Matt. Um, I'll try to link it too as well within the description in this YouTube video. Uh, but while we're on this page, I'll show you um, some examples of what some other companies have done with their robots.txt file. So let's go ahead and, and navigate on over to seomoz.org. On their website, they put a funny little blurb at the top, and the hash sign it basically comments out this area. So search engines pretty much ignore that. What they're doing is saying all the user agents, all the robots on the Internet, can go to pretty much anything on their website except for... API user. They don't want any of their user uh, API info or whatever randomly showing up in search results, so they've asked the crawlers to please stay out of that. Uh, they've also included a list of the different sitemaps. Very simplistic, easy to use robots.txt file. Aaron Wall at SEO Book, done a little bit more. He's still excluding some certain things. He actually put in a crawl delay in here as well. Uh, you can see the crawl delay not super important to have and again Google's pretty smart about how they, they index and categorize content. They've disallowed some specific things on this website probably because they were experiencing issues. SitePoint, one of the, the major forums out there for learning search engine optimization and web, web design and just anything in general relating to web development web design, very simple. They've disallowed the WP admin the WP includes, again, perhaps because they're having issues with that particular content getting indexed, and they're listing out where their XML sitemap is that they can feed to the search engines. Yoast, again, very simple, just a few pages that he doesn't want to appear within the search results, and one page that he does. He's talking to all search engines as well. Webmaster World did something really bizarre. I think they're doing some kind of custom programming because they've actually blocked <laughs> everything. Uh, but when you go to um, you go to the search results in Google, all of their pages are getting indexed just fine. So they're doing something where they're showing the web crawlers. They're sending the web crawlers to this, uh, not to this. They just don't want you to look at the robots.txt file. It's not hard to do. You can basically fake your browser into thinking that it's Googlebot and see what their real robots.txt looks like. I don't know why they did this. They're really weird. Um, Matt Cutts of Google simply did user agent all disallow. Hey, search engine, stay out of my files. 
very simple. Here's Bing. So how does the search engine use the robots.txt file? Well, first they list all of their different sitemaps. And then they, if they have any indexing or um, any indexing problems of specific content, they list out those folders that they don't want showing up in the search results. eBay, also very simple. eBay says, please stay out of Disney and eBay Advanced Search. And then they've listed their different sitemaps and they've organized them so that the people who run the website can uh, see which sitemaps are which. And they've even put a nice little comment in here that's the end of the file. Amazon's got a whole bunch of content they don't want indexed. Kind of interesting. They've also blocked the uh, eTax spider. I don't know if I'm spelling that right or pronouncing it right. But uh, that's basically so that other search engines don't steal their e commerce data, which could prevent potential Google Panda issues if you're running an e commerce website and you don't want your products um, you know, crawled and, and content stolen. Pond Go, who I've really admired for somehow they, they do their SEO. Uh, you could tell they paid some big guys to do it. If you look at their website, their code is clean. Uh, robots.txt, take a look at this. They've disallowed some specific files. They want, don't want their PDFs accidentally indexed, or their uploads, or their JavaScripts, or their style sheets. Uh, and they've told the search engine, specifically MSN, Googlebot, and Slurp, to stay out of the category one. We don't know why, but you know, I try to go into one, and there's nothing there. It's the 404 error, so they've probably got something in there. They just don't want the search engines to pick up. So, so based on that, you see how, how simplistic they all are. We're going to go with what SitePoint has. Let's, um, let's take a look at what Yoast has, too, by the way. Yoast has a lot of plugins that I, I respect a lot. Uh, let's go to yoast.com, robots.txt. Very simple here. In fact, I think I've already got him open over there. Very, very simple sitemap. So let's go back into ours. This is what's currently there. And let's add one more line. Let's go ahead and actually we can just paste all of that here. Admin includes everything looks great. So what only thing I'm going to add here is I'm going to add a link to my sitemap page. If you don't know what your sitemap page is, hopefully you've watched the Yoast uh, configuration video. If you haven't, definitely check it out. I'll try to put a link in the video at this point for that. And let's open this in a new tab. I just right clicked on it and open a new tab. If you've enabled the XML sitemap in Yoast, simply right click on the XML sitemap, copy the link address, close this tab, go back up and paste. And that's it. Go ahead and save your changes. And your robots.txt file is rocking and ready to go. Test it by going back out and hitting refresh. All goes well you'll see everything updated. And now you're, you've got the ability to modify your robots.txt file, and it's probably rude to say so, but to tell your webmaster or give your webmaster the finger and say, I don't need root access, I can update my robots.txt without you. So uh, you know, show him this video afterwards and watch him wipe out your robots.txt file. Probably not a good idea. So uh, anyway, this is it. So thank you so much for watching. This is the WP Robots TXT file. Uh, definitely get this installed and uh, guide the search engines to and away from the content that you want indexed. Uh, do make sure if, if you get to this point that if you are listing your XML that you've gone into your Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools and submitted that XML. Otherwise, you know, it just you have to wait for them to crawl your website and pick all that stuff up. And it's better if you claim your XML feed anyway. So this is Steve Weedman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next SEO video.